let's come together uh, today and and what I'm asking us to do today is to find our spot at, at the table to find our place in the universe to recognize really what what God's role as us is here in this place at this time and to open ourselves to accept that to open ourselves to allow any blocks any barriers any boundaries in our consciousness that are resisting accepting and doing that which we came to do are dissolved into the nothingness from which they came so let us recognize then that this thing that we call God or we call love or we call life or we call spirit by whatever name we choose to call it it is omniscience omnipotence and omnipresence everything that there is ever to be known it knows everything that there is ever to be done it is powerful enough to do and it is right here right where we are right where we believe we are and it is constantly giving of itself through a creative process that it is it is becoming the thing that has been created the very stuff and substance of the universe is the energy of God taking the form in time and place truly everything and everyone we come into contact with is some part of the divine expressing itself as that thing as that one what that means is is that we too are an individualized expression of that one perfect life it has created us out of itself that which we call our soul is the point where the divine is becoming aware of itself as us through us in us around us that which we call our body is nothing more than the dust of the earth that has been given form by the very consciousness of God the food that we eat the water that we drink the air that we breathe is the very presence and the activity of the divine providing for itself as us we understand now why the ground we stand on is holy ground for it is part of the divine and our feet are part of the divine and our beings are part of the divine we understand now why we have been told that our bodies are a temple for the spirit for it is the very spirit of God that animates them and is expressing itself through them and as them so we come to recognize today that the life we live is not our own we did not create it nor can we destroy it but it is something much greater than we are that has come into expression as us to discover and to fulfill itself 
we surrender now all of our petty ideas, our petty, our selfish desires. We let our egos rest. And today we let the magnificence that has created the universe out of itself to give of itself through us, as us. The divine loves you by means of me. It loves me by means of you. When we hug another, it is the very arms of God hugging us back. Today we accept the divinity within our own self and within all persons and we treat ourselves and each and every one with the respect that everyone deserves as a beautiful expression of God. We release and we let go of any sense of worry, strain or struggle about what we might eat or where we might sleep for we recognize that the Lord does shepherd us we lack nothing it knows how to take care of itself it knows how to take care of its own so we are grateful to know these things we are grateful to set into motion the power that responds to prayer the law of mind by which it is done according to our belief. This word is our declaration of our belief that today we recognize ourselves as the spiritual beings that we are, as the instruments of God's givingness that we are. We release this treatment to that perfect law so certainness is done that we say together, and so it is.